cave in the magic mirror come from the path of space. Through wind and darkness I summon thee. Let me see thy face. Magic mirror on the Who is the fairest? This is my collaboration with Bethany. I wanted to see one video. She is the Snow White to my Evil Queen. Hey, so this is my Evil Queen from Snow White look. I had so much fun doing this one, and I think it was because I was actually wearing the costume. I felt like I was the evil queen. I wanted nothing more than to go ha, 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 ha. Ah! <laughs> all throughout the video, but I withheld myself. I kept it together. But <laughs> I absolutely love this costume. And if you would like to see how to create this look, please watch the video. Alright, so you're going to start off with clean fingers and face. I'm using this MAC paint pot in pure white and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. You want to make sure that you apply it evenly because it tends to have kind of a dry and patchy type consistency to it. You want something even as a base for your eyeshadow. Taking this deep deep plum purple and I'm going to apply that at the rim of my eyelash line all the way up kind of a little bit um, up to my crease but not quite it's a really beautiful purple I love this color and it's a universal color that's in almost every palette taking this neon pink and mixing it with a softer pink I'm gonna apply that right above the purple eyeshadow Right now I'm just kind of packing on the color and then I'm going to go back and blend it a little bit. Here's a fluffy brush. I'm going to use that to blend and blur the lines between the pink and the purple. This will take a couple swipes back and forth. Using this orangey tan color, I'm going to apply that above the pink. I want to make sure that I don't put too, too much of it because they are very pigmented and they make a very big mess. Using this fluffy brush, I'm just going to go swirl in between colors and try and blend everything. Blend the edges and blend the colors. Now I'm taking some of that um, MAC paint pot in white again. I'm applying that right underneath my brow bone to give it a more white and cartoon-like effect. And I'm making sure I'm even. And I'm going to do any cleanup with my Neutrogena makeup wipes. And I'm going to create a kind of a sharp edge using the white. Now I'm going in and I'm going to Fill in my eyebrow. You can do this many different ways. You can even cover your eyebrows and draw them in super thin and arched, but because this is a little more realistic and easy for everyone, I'm just filling in my eyebrows. Two different shapes, by the way. <laughs> I want it to be able to give you um, an overview and kind of like the sample of what it would look like square and sharp and arched and round. Alright, so next I'm going to take my Bluto Studio airbrush system, which I am obsessed with. I don't ever use foundation anymore. Um, I'm applying this all over my face. I just love it because it's so sanitary. I don't need brushes or fingers or anything dirty, and it keeps me from breaking out. Plus it gives that beautiful flawless coverage and airbrush finish, which I love. You'll see after I'm done the difference between the before and after. And it's just so much fun. I'm 
Next, I'm going to take this MAC um, skin finish in a deep medium, I think, or is it deep dark? Something like that. And I'm taking the stiff, I think this is a foundation brush that I had from a while back ago. And I'm helping, I'm using it to help me create that sharp, contoured cheekbone. And then I'm taking the residue of the brush and helping blend it on my cheek. Apply it to your temples and your forehead. Just even everything out. Contour your nose if you need it. I definitely need it. Now I'm going to take this kind of a rosy pink and a little bit of that red. And I'm going to apply that to the apples of my cheek right above the bronzer so that it gives a flush color to my cheek. Applying some eyeliner in my outer V and on my lash line, but stopping right at the middle. I'm going to blend that with my brush and give myself a cat eye a little bit. Make sure I'm even using this MAC Purple eyeliner that has glitter in it, which is absolutely gorgeous. I'm applying that from the middle where I stop and using my finger to smudge it to the, um, to the, the top of it. beautiful color, I absolutely love it. And I'm going to line my waterline with black again, and then I'm going to use this liquid liner and do a thin line on the top and give myself a nice cat eye eyeliner um, wing. I want something really sharp and villainy. Is that a word? Is villainy a word? <laughs> should be. Can you see the glitter in the purple eyeliner? Isn't that pretty? And our next step is to begin to apply some mascara. Try and get your eyelashes to be as separated and black as possible. And optional, but also a very good um, option for this look is fake lashes. It definitely finishes and completes the look. Using my MAC lip liner in this beautiful plum kind of reddish wine color, I'm creating an X at my cupid's bow to keep it as even as possible. I'm going to line my lips, fill them in just a little bit as well, leaving the middle bare. And I'm going to take some lipstick, this is MAC, apply that, and only dab it in the center so it kind of has that pouty, highlighted effect. And that is complete. You're completely done with the look, and you can add your accessories now and play around with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you dare, you can have my apple. I love you all so, so much. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that this works out for your costume. If you use it, please tag me to your pictures on Instagram. I'm seriously like obsessed with this costume. I don't want to take it off. Where? You can get this at ilovesexy.com. It comes with the cufflinks, it comes with the crown, it comes with the choker, the dress, and by the way, okay, by the way, look how cute the dress is. The dress has all of the glitter in the front of it. Do you see how like that sparkles? And then the ends of it say mirror, mirror. On the wall, who is the fairest one of all? I think that's such a cute detail. Like, I don't know why. I just think that that is adorable. And I think that the actual costume is amazing um, for what it costs honestly it's amazing so thank you a million 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 times over again to ilovesexy.com for giving me the costume so that i can do the look that i've been dying to do for so long for all of you i hope all of you enjoyed it and i will talk to all of you soon now head on over to i wanted to see one video's channel on youtube and check out her video on her snow white look 
She's gorgeous and she does great makeup. Follow her and subscribe to her for more videos. Thanks again for watching everyone and I will talk to all of you soon.